Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be talking about how to get a bachelor's degree in information technology online in potentially one year. Now this isn't clickbait, this is a legitimate program from an institution that many of you have probably already heard of. If not, it's something that you're going to be able to research online as well. There is a couple caveats I want to say. The first is that this program requires people to already have a bachelor's degree in potentially any other field. So this isn't going to be something that's applicable to all the people who are watching this. The second caveat is that I have absolutely no affiliation at all with the school that was going to be discussed or with the program that's being discussed in this particular segment. I happened to come across the program and figured that many people would benefit if they knew more about it. So I thought that I would record an audio talking a little bit more about it. Now, the program itself is fantastic in that information technology is a field that's really, really high in demand right now. So this gives people the opportunity who happen to find themselves um, maybe a graduate of a liberal arts program or life science program or humanities, social sciences, and maybe they're in a field that isn't very lucrative. They're not where they're, they'd like to be in their particular career. They just feel very limited in general. It gives them the opportunity to not only rebrand their skill set, but to learn things in real time that they can actually apply to the workforce. Now, the great thing thing about the IT field in general is that there's a lot of massively open online courses. There are, there's a lot of resources online, a lot of credentials for, for people to actually uh, get for them to accelerate their learning and to get into the field itself. But it's really awesome for students to actually have the ability to stack that with an actual tangible credential that they can add to their arsenal as well. The other amazing thing is the fact that they can actually take the coursework that they've already done um, through their undergraduate studies and potentially apply these to what would have been the remaining courses that would have been required in the full degree. So it's awesome that the program itself, I believe, requires 30 units, which would be roughly uh, one year of full-time study for a student to actually be able to get this secondary bachelor's degree, which could potentially rectify um, somebody's career uh, that who might have gone down a completely um, narrow path, so to speak. So the program itself is offered from the University of Massachusetts Lowell. So it's something that I can actually link in the description below if you want to read a little bit more about the program itself. And the thing I love is the fact that it's not only something that you can pursue um, completely online, but I believe there's also opportunities for you to take on-campus instruction as well. So if you happen to be in the Massachusetts area uh, and you just prefer learning uh, in in the actual classroom with your fellow students. There might be opportunities to take some of your courses through uh, on-campus instruction as well. But if you happen to be far away from that particular area, you have other commitments that prevent you from being on campus, then of course you have the ability to pursue it online as well. The other awesome thing about the program that, you know, I was really skeptical about it initially when I heard about it, because I thought, okay, well, if there's 10 courses, I, I imagine that it's going to be very strict courses that they're going to force you to take, and maybe they're only offered once or twice a year and so if you, you don't happen to take it when it's offered you got to wait a whole other year for it to be offered again and something that should take you maybe one or two years to finish might take you three to five years to actually complete that's actually not the case at all the thing that I really love is the flexibility that comes with the program in that there are a list of courses that can potentially fulfill the requirements of the degree but I believe that students will also have some flexibility in the types of courses that they want to take to fulfill the degree requirements which is great because the field of information information technology itself is actually very, very broad. And there's a lot of things that can fall within information technology. So you're, the ability to select specific courses that not only fit in with your interests, but also satisfy the degree requirements is great because it not only makes the degree practical, but it helps to um, shape what students want to take out of the program, regardless of, you know, what their specific interests are within information technology. So that's something that I really love. And the other thing too is just the fact that having the ability to take courses from a, a variety of different courses that are offered will allow students to either accelerate their learning if they want to finish it uh, in a shorter period of time um, or, you know, maybe take a couple courses a year and just the ones that they're interested in. And then maybe a, a, after a couple of years, they happen to get a degree almost by accident, so to speak, because they've taken a couple of courses uh, over a period of years that they happen to be really, really interested in. Uh, this program itself is not only great to allow students to completely gain a new set of skills that uh, they might have not 
otherwise not have been able to get, but it could potentially also fulfill requirements to potential master's degree programs that students might want to apply to. So the great thing here is that students happen to come from a non-traditional background and they want to pursue a master's degree in an, an IT related field. They might be required to take a certain amount of courses before they can even apply to the program. Well, why not take them through this particular program, maybe stack that on with a dip, uh, an additional few courses, get an actual degree out of it. Maybe you, you change your mind about the master's program, maybe you still pursue it, but it's just great for you to be able to um, kind of stack on an additional credential from one that might might not have served you as well as you were hoping in the past. So overall, I think that this program is something that's completely breakthrough uh, for, for students who uh, are looking for kind of a second chance at their bachelor's degree, don't want to invest a crazy amount of money. It, it is a, um, a fairly uh, reasonably priced program, in my opinion. Uh, rel I mean, given what you're going to be getting for the program, it's essentially a second bachelor's degree in, in a very highly sought after field. And so uh, it, it's something that I'm sure would cost people a lot more money if they were to pursue this uh, a secondary degree again for an additional four years, which I know some people have done in the past, um, given the fact that computer science and IT and these types of fields tend to be in such high demand. So for the opportunity to pursue a secondary degree, you know, for... Uh, you know, 10 courses potentially um, it is something that's going to be completely revolutionary for, for somebody who wants to get into the field. So if you happen to have taken some courses towards this program, you know anyone who has, I'd love to hear your comments, questions, and concerns in the comment section below. Uh, if you have any other video suggestions at all, also leave that in the comment section below. Also make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help as well. Thank you so much again for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.